first up in our heavyweight fights in ring B, we've got Aziz Abez Muhideen of Italy up against Julio Castillo. Castillo, uh, a veteran, I think it's probably fair to call him. He might not be mad keen on that description, but he's been around for a long time. First box in the World Championships in 2011 in Azerbaijan. He's also in Hamburg in 2000. Bohar in 2015, I beg your pardon. Russia in 2019. Two Olympic Games under his belt. Plenty of medals. Silver in Russia two years ago. Muhideen. He's got past Narek Manassian of Armenia and Tony Filippi of Croatia. Tall fighter in really good condition. Southpaw, good mover, light on his feet. Difficult to catch. But Castillo in his last fight against Rustam Irizbek of Kyrgyzstan showed how you slow a fighter down, showed how you can just beat someone unspectacularly, if you like. He just kept throwing left hands to the body again and again and again and again. And he'll need that against Muhideen. If he can land that left to the body, that will slow the Italian down. That will just take some of that movement away. So I would expect to see him look for plenty of, of that. Italian national champion Muhideen. He went to the World Championships two years ago as well. And in 2018, got a European under 22 gold. He's got two bronzes at Asian Championships Castillo as well. So there's a whole wealth of experience there for him. He's been around for a long time, like I said. Touch of gloves. Jamila Borkoeva of Kyrgyzstan in charge of this one. Muhideen of Italy in the red. Castillo Ecuador in the blue. Two southpaws, two quite different southpaws. Nice and snappy with that jab, Muhideen. Castillo just rolling to his right and throwing that left hand. Stooped him with the jab and just got caught on the inside there, Castillo, by Muhideen. One, two, taken on the gloves and forearms there by Castillo. Goes to the body with the left hand, but then gets caught to the head by the left of, of Muhideen, whose feet are not quite as busy in this in this fight as they have been when I've seen him in his previous two. He moved a lot in those first two fights, pivoting around that front foot, slipping and sliding. He slowed them down in this fight. He's punching off a more solid base and it's working well for him actually because that was a good jab that he hit Castillo with. He's just keeping Castillo turning here. Maybe he feels that Castillo is not He's not all that mobile now at 33, and that he can use that jab. What he will feel the superior hand speed to to land those scoring shots. Right hand there coming back though from Castillo. There's that jab again from Muhideen. This is good stuff from him so far. Past the midway stage of the first round. Leading off with a right hand there, Castillo. Left hand up top, kind of over the top from Castillo. I think did just about land into the final minute. with that jab to the body hasn't been able to really find the body with that 
straight left so far basically because Muvadin's always moving always turning when he landed it so regularly against Iris back in the previous round Iris back tended to move in and out in straight lines really left to the body there from Muhideen it's boxed well I think in this first round as I said not quite as much movement as we've seen previously it worked in the previous two fights but he's just set those feet a little bit more he has worked around the clock face there but not quite in such dramatic fashion that's his round and there we go ten lines across the board there for the Italian Backs his hand speed, Muhideen. Against Castillo, and he does have quicker hands. So into the second, Muhideen of Italy in the red taking all five cards there at the end of the first. Castillo, the, the much more experienced fighter, is having a hard time with this at the moment. Got caught by a combination there right at the start of the round as well. Looking to try and jab to the body. He's got to, he's got to land that jab. That, that could be, well that will be key for him. Didn't really manage to get there with it at all in that opening round. Right to the body there from Castillo. Leads off with a jab, jab there from Muhideen. And then another one on the move. Castillo with a jab to the body. Muhideen moves on to the inside. Throws that two punch combination. Again with a jab to the body there, Castillo. And it is having the desired effect in that. It is slowing Muhideen down a touch. <laughs> Shooting the jab up top this time, Castillo. Muhideen just trying to counter that jab to the body. He has to reach a long way with it, Castillo. Lands a right to the body there on the turn. Jab to the body and then tries to switch it up. Good left hand there from Castillo. He's definitely had a better round here as we head into the final minute of it. Moudin won that opener clearly. Let off with the right there and just got stuck in no man's land a bit because he backed up slightly there, Mouhideen, and then looks to try and counter with the left hand. seconds Castillo looking to try and just fling that left hand over the top keep those hands on the move jab to the body again there and he's landed that quite a bit in that second round as I say that's a, a much tighter round than the first he needs it he needs it with at least three of the judges there Castillo and he's got it with three of the judges well as discussed time and time again that critical third card goes his way so now he's still in this 20 points to 18 down with two of the judges but 19 apiece with the other three it was a tight round he had a 
much better round there, Castillo. Was it enough to win it? Maybe just about. I think the split scoring there does tell the story. So Muhideen with the advantage, those two cards, two rounds to nil in his favour, the other three levels, so Castillo's got to go out and win all three of those, Muhideen needs one of them. Castillo again just going to the body with the jab, something he didn't really manage to do in the opening round. Needs to pop that jab a bit more, Muhideen, I think. He threw that regularly in the opening three minutes, just kept turning around Castillo not at lightning pace he wasn't up on his toes and flying all over the ring which he did at times in his first couple of fights it was more control but he kept popping out that jab and popping out that jab and landing with it throwing the odd one two he's, he's used it more sparingly since then looks to try and move on to the inside there right hand from Muhideen again with the jab to the body Castillo and I just don't understand why Muhideen just doesn't get back on the jab why he hasn't used the jab really in the last two rounds as much as he did in the in the first round because he won that first round clearly and okay Castillo has changed his tack slightly he looks for that long left hand there the Ecuadorian but there is the jab from Muhideen and there's just no reason not to throw it what he's done more in these second and third rounds is wait for Castillo to commit and then look to counter him with, with a 1-2. And that's better, steps in with a 1-2 himself. Not much in this final round with 40 seconds remaining. He needs one of those level cards, Muhideen. Castillo needs all three of them. Muhideen looking for that long 1-2. Been a bit messy this final round. Difficult to say that there's a clear winner in it, really. Right to the body from Castillo, then look for the right hook, which maybe clipped the top of the head. Muhideen just stepping in right towards the very end there. Castillo just staying out of the way in the final few seconds. He feels like he's done enough. Muhideen feels like he's done enough. As I say, I don't think there's a clear winner in that final round, so I would. On that basis, I would make Muhideen the favourite because he needs just one of those three level cards, whereas Castillo needs all of them. He could get all of them. It's possible. So Muhin gets it, Muhideen rather, unanimous decision, he gets that final round 10-9 with all five of the judges, I didn't think there was there was that much in that, that final three minutes and he did put together a kind of strongish finish and goes through. Two scores of three rounds to nil, three scores of two rounds to one. That's the right winner, you would say. And that's a big scalp for him, a big scalp.
Next up, we've got Sanjeet of India up with Georgi Chikladze. Sanjeet with a win against Andrei Stotsky of Russia, 4-1 in the previous round. Chikladze has beaten Michelle Opelding of Luxembourg and Darius Lasota of Germany.